Greetings YouTube, it's I, Master of Earth, and I'm here again for another beautiful video. Thank you for watching, thank you for spending your time with me, and in this video, I would like it to be, uh, I want to answer you guys' questions. Basically, I, I, I get a lot of comments, people are curious on how I'm able to stay clean, uh, I had a previous video about true cleanliness and what that what's that about and how true cleanliness is about purely your immune system having a high active healthy immune system and a strong immune system is an immune system that has um, that uh, immune system that is present on the skin a lot of people don't have their immune system present because they scrub off all of their materials. Um, also, just staying, making sure that your immune system is functioning well. That's what tr cleanliness is all about, and all the various things that promote uh, a better function of your immune system. Now, a lot of questions I get is, Master of Earth, how do you stay clean? How do you? Um, smell good how do you function in society with the kind of lifestyle you live and um, let me share some tips with you guys um, one thing that you need to understand is this believe it or, believe it or not uh, your body doesn't really produce any odor um, your, your sweat people tend to think that sweat produces odors but it really doesn't anything that comes out of your skin is odorless and um, any odor that you might perceive that's coming from your body it is predominantly from bacteria now this bacteria has many sources it can come from you it can come from your your own bacteria that your aura generated your life field generated or it could come from the environment but basically the bacteria is what causes uh, the various smells um, one way that I stay clean is I encourage the mechanism known as shedding I understand that my skin goes through a process whereby it sheds one thing that people are not aware of is that you need to get at least three hours, four hours of sunlight. The least is two hours, but you need to get as much sun as possible. And I'm talking about on your whole body. You got to maybe if you if you can't find a place where you can go uh, nude, you might want to wear boxers, sit outside, wear shorts, do whatever you can. But you need to get sunlight on your body. And this is because, A, you need vitamin D. Your body needs time to create vitamin D. And this is created through the sweat and all the various hormones and all the various um, chemicals that are produced. They need time. And one thing that I do is I give my body uh, sun exposure. I sunbathe. That's basically my main form of bathing. And this is the science of it. Basically, when you create vitamin D, when you allow your skin to absorb all those nutrients and all those chemicals, this is what prompts the shedding process. If you're not getting sunlight, if you're wearing clothes, if, if, you're, if your skin is not able to um, ventilate itself, you'll be growing bacteria you know what I'm saying and this is what basically causes all those odors so a good way of staying clean is exposing your skin to sunlight allowing sunlight to hit your skin allowing sunlight bathe yourself in sunlight this keeps the bacteria growing on your skin at minimum and not only that when you allow your skin to moisten from the chemicals, from the hormones, from the sweat, from the vitamin D, from all the good stuff, when you allow it to moisten and absorb, 
your skin sheds. Your skin begins to shed. And um, that is what keeps you, that's what keeps your skin clean. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to scrub your skin. You don't have to uh, put on lotion. All you got to do is expose your skin to sunlight, create vitamin D, which is essential for a healthy function in the immune system, and allow your skin to absorb these things. When your skin absorbs it, it then has everything it needs to begin to shed. It begins to shed itself. And ventilate your skin. Allow your skin to have fresh air so the bacteria will be at minimum. What you don't want is excess clothes wearing, wearing too much clothes, sweating inside your clothes, not having ventilation. This is what causes a lot of odors and that's it's coming from the bacteria. Uh, another tip on staying clean. Um, you can get, you got to get into the habit of uh, covering your hair. Um, I cover my hair because if I don't, my hair will be dusty, it will be uh, dirty. So wrap your hair up, cover it, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to wash your hair. The best thing you want is for your hair to produce its own natural oils, you know what I'm saying? Allow it to produce what it wants to produce because your hair is alive. Give it its own um, right, give it its own space to express itself because it's divine allow your hair uh its innate expression of divinity to manifest so i don't touch my hair i don't wash it i allow my immune system to function there i allow whatever to grow there to grow and the way i help myself is by covering it and exposing it to sunlight you know what i'm saying allowing sunlight to hit it now Staying, staying clean isn't really the hard part. The real hard part is the odors, right? Everybody's like, wow, how, how do I prevent odors? Now, once again, the main thing that causes odors in the body is not the body itself. The body is not a offensive, uh, it, it's not something that should be seen as uh, something that is um, dirty or repulsive or, uh, you know, your, the body is divine. And basically, the body doesn't really produce all these offensive odors that people speak of. The thing, the prime causer is bacteria. Now, the two main places where you find bacteria in the body is, of course, the armpits and below the belt, basically your groin area and your um, anus area. Um, I don't suggest wearing deodorants. And if you do wear deodorants, and if you uh, buy natural deodorants, I got something even better than deodorant that you can start using. Something that is organic, something that you can find in nature, something that is free, basically. Well, it's not really free. You got to buy it in stores. But instead of wearing deodorant, instead of all that stuff, a good way of main, a good way of keeping the bacteria under your armpits under control, all you have to do is use a lemon. It's kind of hard for me to suggest using the lemon because, believe it or not, all fruits and vegetables are expressions of life. They're, they have consciousness and they are alive. Like there's gonna be a video about this because a lot of fruitarians and raw food eaters, they preach about killing meat, but you also gotta understand that fruits and vegetables are also expressions of life. And if you have, if you have the eye of the eye, if you have a spiritual eye, you, can, you will see that all those fruits are alive. But basically, the lemon juice has the ability to neutralize all those bacteria. So all you have to do is buy a lemon. I don't suggest deodorant. Stop wearing deodorant. Lemons are way better. Plus it's natural. Get a lemon, cut it in half, squeeze the juice out, and all you gotta do is rub the juice on your armpits. And you'll be surprised. That will keep your armpits under control for about two to three days or even longer. Experiment, um, you know what I'm saying?
put the lemon juice on your armpits and you'll be surprised on the effects. Put it anywhere, put it around your anus. For females, you can put it around your vagina area. I know females that do this and it works greatly. You'll be shocked on how simple, how easy it is. A lot of people complain about deodorants being artificial. They complain about the ingredients in the deodorant, how harsh it is, how hazardous it is. Try a lemon. A lemon is very effective. Lime is okay, lime is cool too, but lemon has proved to be the best for me. Another thing you should know about the bacteria there is your own bacteria, so the lemon will kind of affect your magnetism in a way. But look at the bright side. If you're able to at least allow your skin to maintain a healthy functioning, that's better than not having anything at all, right? So even though you're neutralizing the bacteria here, keep in mind that it's a lot better than wearing deodorant and scrubbing your whole body off. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing about uh, staying clean, damn, what else to talk about? I mean, those like that's basically the main, the two main tips. But another thing, maybe about, um, I guess this is a tip for people that have bad breath. Something that you need to understand is what causes bad breath is, of course, bacteria once again. And bacteria stays in your mouth because of all the food you eat. And not only that, people don't under, people are yet to realize this. But the only reason why bacteria is even in your mouth is because you keep your mouth closed. When there's no air, you give the bacteria a, most, a moist environment where it can, you know, proliferate. So all you have to do is just leave your mouth open, allow air to ventilate your mouth, and the bacteria will be under control. Another good thing you can do to keep your mouth fresh, get a spoon, understand that the place in your mouth where you can find the most bacteria is the tongue. Get a spoon or get a chewing stick, but I suggest you use a spoon because it's found everywhere. And scrape your tongue with the spoon and scrape off um, the outer layer of your tongue. This is what causes bad breath, is that bacteria there on your tongue. So just scrape that stuff off, rinse your mouth afterwards. If you want, you can brush your teeth with whatever you want lemon juice, baking soda, whatever you feel fit, and this will keep it under control. You know what I'm saying? My approach to it is this, guys. We got to we got to relinquish our um we got to relinquish the bondage we have with the matrix. Like let's forget about all these chemicals. Let's forget about being modern and let's go back to the ancient ways of doing things. It's all about freedom, guys. In embarking on this lifestyle, embarking on this journey, you will be surprised how your world will change. Allowing your immune system to function better, allowing your skin to, to express its divinity, allowing your hair to express its divinity, becoming more natural. It is beautiful, guys. And I salute whoever chooses to embark on a, such a great journey. You know what I'm saying? Because I spoke about this to one of my brother. I told him that, you know, it's only strong souls that can embark on journeys such as this. But if you're one of those souls, congratulations. Auspiciousness is guaranteed. Okay? So that's the, basically the video, guys. Ventilate your skin. Avoid wearing too much clothes. Eat your, your skin needs to be ventilated. Take off your shirt. Take off your pants. Bathe in the sun. A lot of sun, they hit your skin. This is what allows your skin to shed. This is what enables vitamin D to be created. And re remember, vitamin D activates your immune system. So it's not just about what's going on in the outside. It's also about what's going on in the inside. You will notice once your skin is working properly, once you start producing vitamin D again, you know what I'm saying, you'll be surprised on how the inner workings of your body change. Your skin will get tighter, you will lose weight, 
your muscle structure will change, your insides will change, and this will all be cut. This will all be because of the immune system functioning better. You know what I'm saying? Um, your body will be better able to disperse of anything that's not in, that's not supposed to be inside it, and you'll be more clean. So those are my tips to everybody. Thank you for watching. Comment, message me if you like. Subscribe, like. You know, I love y'all guys so much. I love you so much. Master of Earth, guys, increase your awareness of oneness. Relinquish every notion of separateness. We are one. Everything is the same thing. Everything is one and the same. Everything is divinity. Thank you for watching, my lovely, lovely people. Thank you, humanity. Thank you for watching. Master of Earth, bathe in the sun. Become one with the sun. There is no cause of anything. Yeah, guys, and there's a couple, well, there's a couple things I forgot to mention. Uh, another tip on staying clean. Of course, we know that our armpits house a lot of bacteria. A good Thing, a good tip that you can do to keep your armpits at bay try to ventilate your armpits get in the habit of exposing your armpits to sunlight keep your arms open you know what I'm saying um, lay down with your arms uh, expanded and just try to maintain uh, ventilation in that area you know what I'm saying because most of the time people keep their armpits closed and this is what creates the environment for bacteria to you know what I'm saying grow and proliferate and also to uh, produce odors and the last final thing that I basically forgot to say and I gotta put it here in the video is this true cleanliness is once again your immune system and let's not for, let's not forget our immune system starts they say that digestion starts at the mouth well, I'll tell you what, there's no such thing as digestion. Replace digestion with the immune system. The immune system starts at the mouth. Whatever enters your body through the mouth has direct access to your immune system. It has direct access to your stomach, your intestines, to your brain. Your intestines are, is your brain. That's where your immune system is. So, the key to cleanliness if you want to smell good, if, if, if you want to be clean, you need to understand the relationship between what you eat and, it, and its effects on your body. Everything you put in your body has a consequence. Fast, my people. Avoid from eating too much food. Adopt a more liquid diet. Drink more liquids. Drink distilled waters. Um, purify yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to eat three meals a day you don't even have to eat every day try to fast more guys if you want to smell good remember your armpits is who you are if you want to smell good change the frequency that your heart is uh, projecting through your armpits change your insights stop eating junk eat nothing you know what I'm saying and you'll be surprised everybody will want to smell you <laughs> but basically your immune system is key to being clean Understand your immune system starts at basically every opening in your body. Your mouth, your nose, your ears, your eyes, everything. You know what I'm saying? Keep the insides clean and everything else will follow. Um, one more time, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, love.